How does dissolving table salt in water affect the volume of the mixture? Unlike what we might expect, dissolving table salt in water decreases the volume of the mixture. We have to analyze this from a micro point of view to understand this. This is a diagram showing the general structure of water molecules in liquid state, the red spheres representing an atom of oxygen and the white one, an atom of hydrogen. This structure results in a lot of space. In fact, this structure is even more regular in the crystalline structure of ice, resulting in more space being taken up by the same number of moles of ice and water. It can explain why the ice is less dense than water. When table salt, that is, sodium chloride which is an ionic compound, is dissolved in water, the water molecules reduce slash break away from the number of hydrogen bonds by solvating the sodium ions and chloride ions. This enables the water molecules to become closer to each other and reduces the space between water molecules. Overall, the volume of the solution will be reduced. When sodium chloride dissolves in water to make a saturated solution, there is a 2.5% reduction in volume. We would never notice this change. If a volumetric flask is available from the chemistry laboratory, the volume change will be noticeable in the narrow neck. However, it is essential to remove all air bubbles from the salt that is to be dissolved. The solubility of salt does not change much with temperature, so there is little change in using hot water. A saturated solution is a solution that contains the maximum amount of solute that is capable of being dissolved. At 20 degrees Celsius, the maximum amount of NaCl that will dissolve in 100 grams of water is 36.0 grams. If any more NaCl is added past that point, it will not dissolve because the solution is saturated. Most ocean water is typically about 3.5% dissolved salts. The Dead Sea, location among Israel, Jordan, and West Bank, has a salinity, N, of 